For this part, we're going to be creating the shirt and it's going to be a partially open shirt, mostly buttoned with two loose buttons at the top. So select the character, select um, shirt closed and click on new cloth. And now position the points, click on generate top rig and scale the circles as they should be on the character like so. This is good. You can position this by the hand. Do it from the top and move it forward. And with 4.0, you can rotate this circle. And that's fine. The waist circle, you want it to be around the same height as the skirt. So I'm going to unhide everything. And make sure the waist circle is around here. This is good. And then we can generate it. We don't want it open. I want it with a color. So click on generate shirt. It brings us into sculpt mode by default so you can adjust any parts you need to like the sleeves over here i'm just going to sculpt this to fit the character better this area as well now sometimes it comes without the nice seams like here you can see the sharp areas all you need to do is right click and click on shade smooth and then under the modifier section set this to 180 or 360 and click on ignore sharpness and now you can see the seams look fine. Now we want to snap this area onto the character. So how to do that? You can select the vertices down here and you can simply click on the shrink wrap button here. But the best way to do it also is to scale it a bit closer to the waist like this. And like this. And then click on the shrink wrap button here. And that will snap the vertices onto the waist in a neat way. Like so, this is good. So now it's shrink wrap, but it's not yet pinned. So you can click on the pin icon to make sure they're locked in place during the simulation and they're stuck on the character in, in those um, points. Um, you can press play now to see how it behaves. And uh, this is not bad. We could have um, this area drop down a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just select this loop and move it down a little like so and this area as well just move it down and i'm going to increase the weight so now you can see in edit mode this is the shape but when we go back into object mode it changes back all you need to do is click on bind to update the shape of the cloth after editing like so now i'm going to change the weight of the shirt so that this area drops down a bit more and i'm going to change it to a mass of 0 0.5 kg when you press play, you can see it behaves a lot better. So this is good. I'm going to take off two connections at the top here. And to do that, you can simply delete the edges that are holding them together. So you can see the edges here. I'm just going to select them like this, um, not that one, this one, and just the next one as well. And press X and click on edges and that will free the top at that point. When you press play, you can see the color is not following the shirt. You can simply go back to the first frame and click on bind to bind the color to the shirt at that point. And this is good. Next up, we can add buttons to this shirt. So I'm just gonna pull open the asset browser here and you can see the divine assets that are default buttons and we can pull them onto the shirt like this. Scale them up and click on Divine Accessory. And then you can snap them on and duplicate them onto the shirt, wherever you would like them to be. You can select each button and click on Bind, Bind Selected, and that will bind them all to the character, to the cloth rather. And that's basically it. And lastly, for the color, you can see the color is going into the body here, and that's because the color is not yet activated. Um, if it's activated, the simulation runs a bit slower, so usually we recommend you bake the shirt first. So I'm just going to let the shirt run. You bake the shirt first, and then um, bake the color. So once you're done, satisfied with the shirt simulation, you can then bake the color afterwards.
All right, so we've gone to the last frame. I can now go over to the design section and click on cache cloth to cache the uh, simulation. And um, now we can go back to the first frame, select the color and click on activate color. Now the color is activated. When you press play, it will also start to bake the color. You can allow it to play. All right, so the color is done baking. You can now go over to the soft body settings under cache and click on current cache to bake. You can also enable the second um, subdivision modifier over here and that will make the color appear much nicer and neater.